look at all this mess, guys. <laughs> the mess is terrible. Look at this. Chicken droppings. Chicken droppings all over the place, guys. This is just how we do it every... Okay, it's just like a routine. Because these things keep slipping here. This is this side is a store. You all know that this side is my kitchen. So I clean this side like every after two days. The store side I clean it like every after two days because firing out these things is actually not easy. So today I've decided to share it with you guys how I do the taking out, the bringing back, the taking out the the chicken droppings. These droppings here in just. In fact, if you see it just for one day, you'll think it's already for two days. They can't poop one. You're like, okay, someone paying you to poop in my house. <laughs> this chicken, I just, I think I overfeed them. I should reduce a bit because check, the droppings are excess, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, all I'm going to share with you today is just how I'm going to try to neaten just the place. Especially the the store side which is really messy because of the kitchen the 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 the, the buds that the, the chicken droppings you know when they enter here they sleep here if you didn't know they step on top of these things and you know they don't want to sleep on the ground so they sleep up and even here on top you can have a look here on top of the charcoal they want to sleep up even if you chase them they will not even leave so i gave up on them so that is just how the place is guys meanwhile um of course there could be someone new here so if you're new here you're very much welcome this is Eunice and this is actually pride guys um uh, it's been so nice growing here it's been so interesting you've missed a lot but you know you've not really missed because you can still uh, choose to go back and catch up with whatever we've had here but I see a lot of questions and the questions are actually things that I've done most of the questions that you ask me in the comment section there are things I have done for you already so instead of asking you could first choose to run back and check out the old videos if you don't get them you can come back and tell me to do for you again yeah so how about that now welcome back once again um this is our kitchen our, 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 our store and the kitchen combined so i'm going to clean guys this is just what it looks like i didn't cook here yesterday <laughs> i cooked outside so the mess is something else but let's start cleaning i'm just going to fill out these things and this i think i'm just going to put it unfortunately it might even rain i don't know where the rain has come from so i'm even scared of doing this but because this is the day for cleaning and i don't want to skip i'm going to try and risk with the rain you can see the clouds yeah there's a sign of rain so let's do this really really fast before the rain gets me so guys you see this thing right here this right here if i have a chicken which has just hatched you know those those very very young chicks like they old a week or something we have a tendency of keeping them under this we just put this thing like run like this actually i don't know what pressed it <clears throat> we just put it like this put the chicken here down and the, the, the they're feeding water and everything you put them you cover to safeguard it from the i don't know if those birds are called eagles or what but there are those birds that come and snatch away the chicks so we do this to protect them so that they don't get snatched by those birds that fly up so i have uh, i think about three chicken right now laying eggs and very soon this will come back into use again so i don't throw this it's not rubbish it might look like rubbish to most of you but it's not <laughs> this one we use for collecting charcoal from that sack the and then of course our molds for laying the bricks we shall use this again next time i'm very sure so i think i'll be telling you each and everything they use <laughs> oh, of course this is just we made this for washing hands our tap and then this we are keeping this because soon Soon or later, if we start connections here and there, maybe if power gets here, we shall need this so we're not throwing it, we're keeping it there. <laughs> and then, of course, this for feeding my young chicks when they hatch, I'll wait for them. Bold watering can, you know. You know, I look through these things and I feel like, okay, which one is rubbish? Like, which one should I really throw? And if I start looking at them one by one, all of them are useful. That's how I end up taking all of them back in the house again. 
whenever I'm cleaning, I feel like, okay, I think I should throw something. But I look through and all of them are very important. So I end up, I end up taking all of them back. Hand over the whole, the whole got, got off, but I'm going to put it back. We still have some more holes right here, the small ones. That's why we keep them to be safe. I had another wheelbarrow and it got spoiled. I think I'm left with one only. We had two. And that is the frame. Oh, this chicken can poo for World Cup. Jesus. And you know, I'll, and worstly now, it is raining. Like it has rained for some two days. And you know how water will be passing through these things and it gets really cold down here, you know, and it looks terrible. And then, of course, you all know we are doing something, guys. Like, um, we're trying to work on our building. And I told you I want to show you when it's finished. So, small update. Just very small. I'm not going to tip you much. <laughs> We've put our tiles already. <laughs> so, we're still making more. I don't know. Maybe the bricks or what. But we can pause a bit with the bricks. But, Ooh, something interesting is coming. You all want to see this, guys. You cannot miss this already. Eh? <laughs> I can't wait also to start working on our kitchen. So for now, I'll have to bear this condition, yeah, because I know, I know, like I know what is, what plans we have and all that. So I cannot, I don't like really, really feel so bad that maybe I don't have a specific kitchen. Just you know, like I'm sharing a store with a kitchen. It's, it is okay. It's a process, and you know, I know many of you might be thinking oh see how they live oh but it's okay like i'm not really complaining yeah so i'm just thankful that it's at least moving slowly but surely so that is the update are you happy for me <laughs> so guys these were the leftovers from the tiles unfortunately i'm going to, i'm going to share with you how the work is going i'm I, like i don't want i only want you to see finished product so give me some time already <laughs> I don't know whether I should put these tiles in the kitchen here. Hmm? It could be a better option. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Yeah. If we could just put this here, then we just be mopping. You know. I think it's better. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. <coughs> Fortunately, they were cut into pieces. Like they're leftovers, so they're not in. There's not any shape. Everything is just on their own shapes. Some are big, some are small, you know. But of course, our bricks, that project is also still going to move. Um, I think that th those bricks now we'll use for the kitchen or something. I'll see what to do and let you know. <laughs>
the rain has messed up everything. See how the floor is getting off. Rain has poured through this. It has worsened it now. That is still fine. We will soon find a way out. Mm -hmm. At least this is better than cooking like under the sun or something, you know. I'm going to take a lot of things out this time. I'm just going to be packing them back immediately. I don't want to take them out again because I managed to, to clear the space already. I think it might rain. I actually don't know where the rain came from. wondering what these are for. <laughs> I use it for my fire stones. I put them here if I want like, to cook on firewood. That's why I don't throw them. <laughs> I told you everything you see in this house has a use.
guys as you can see i have swept and this is just how i always do it just do this thorough sweeping i went back back the store section <laughs> of course and then my i i didn't show you this these are just polythene bags polythene wrappers i don't know how to call them we use this for lighting our fire so you can see this. Let me just put them up and then i got something guys <laughs> come and see i think one of the chicken has just started laying here so i have to just look for somewhere and i put it what i always do i put some soil like i pick sand from the compound and pour in a basin and leave it for laying i told you i already have three so this is like the fourth one so i have to make somewhere for this one also mm? i have a lot of mothers in labor <laughs> in my compound <laughs> guys um i'm done sweeping as you can see and it's coming to rain so i'm going to rush very fast and collect the things that inside otherwise um did you enjoy the process <laughs> time will come don't worry time will come when the cleaning is just mopping when we don't have to go through all this hassle so for now let us do this i'm out how about that